So right now I'm going to be doing a presentation on finesse fishing. Finesse fishing has to do with making fish feed when they don't necessarily want to feed. Because like most animals, fish don't eat all the time. They usually feed early in the morning, after they've rested all night, unless they're a catfish that's nocturnal, or a walleye that likes to do a lot of nighttime feeding. And they also feed heavily before it gets dark, right in that twilight zone. But in between, let's say you go fishing from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., they may not be feeding. So the finesse presentations that I'm going to be showing you are techniques that you can fish slower, use lighter line, and use specific lures, especially soft plastic lures, to get even those fish that don't want to feed, to feed. It's kind of like when you've done a meal, you're at work or at home, but somebody leaves a cookie out or leaves something that you really like and you didn't really plan on eating it, but because it's in your face, there's a good chance you're gonna pick it up and gobble it down anyway, okay? So the first presentation that I'm gonna show you is a swim bait. Do we have any fishermen in the audience? Good, this is really gonna help my presentation so that you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm holding in my hand is the original swim bait. It's called a sluggo. It was created about 40 years ago by a gentleman by the name of Herb Reed. And he started a company called uh, Lunker City Tackle Company. So it looks like a cigar, a straight piece of plastic, no action tail, it's kind of flexible. And all I've done is put a worm hook in it and I have it on a fluorocarbon leader. So this particular lure or any of the swim baits that don't have a paddle tail are ideal to use in clear water when you're fishing in shallower water, less than 10 feet, and especially around weeds or structure like rocks or wood that's in the water. For fish like bass, even pike and walleye that are in the area but not necessarily stalking to look to feed. Because I can manipulate this lure very slowly, I can entice those fish to strike. So this lure is designed to be fished close to the surface. It has no additional weight. So watch, I'm gonna to toss it out and I'm gonna let it sink for a split second. Hopefully everybody can see it. If I give it a couple of light twitches, it's kind of swimming like a bait fish that's wounded. So I'm getting a little bit of interest, but not too much because these are rainbow trout and they're down in the water column. Plus we've got very unnatural conditions. So the only thing with finesse fishing is that you can't fish fast. Sometimes less is more and slowing your down your presentation Letting that lure sink sometimes will even trigger a strike. So as it's sinking, I'm gonna give it a couple of tugs, just short, like five, six inch snaps of my rod tip. And you can see that it's got a pretty tantalizing action. So if these guys were bass, I probably wouldn't have been able to move it about five feet. I would have had a fish inhale it already. So swim baits work really well if you're fishing in clear water, middle of the day, especially if it's calm out, there's no wind or no surface commotion and the fish are not actively feeding. You can really get them to strike.